AMO 2021. It's wrapped up. The first week of May, it was incredible. It was the first major in-person additive manufacturing conference since COVID hit. And dude, it was a huge success. There was a ton of news, new releases. So here's just a quick recap of a few things you might have missed. Now, I'll have a lot more videos coming out soon on AMT Post Processing, Triton 3D Stratasys Compatible Filament, 3 Your Mind, Titan Robotics, and many more. So make sure you subscribe so you see when those come out. But for now, we're going to start off with Ascentium and their brand new HSE 280i HT system, which was revealed in late April as the world's first true IDEX system. Ascentium also announced that they were working with Mercury Systems and Rolls-Royce for aerospace and defense use cases. And in their press release, Ascentium has revealed that they're also testing and developing new materials and processes using the 280i HT printer for the Department of Defense. Let me just say, we've got some really cool beta materials coming through our office, and it's going to be really cool when we get to tell you about it. Now, the presentations they gave were also awesome, and one particular example really stood out to me. They were basically using dual extrusion to create a super rigid part with HTN CF25 at the core and slick HTN, regular high temp nylon, on the outer shell. Uh, so naturally, I came back and said, Jay, throw this on the printer, give me a gear where the center is actually HTN CF25, super rigid, and the outside is something slick, less abrasive, etc. And so uh, we'll have a lot more coming out on that very soon. And this, this whole part was also done. Uh, we're definitely tuning in the settings on it. But to have a part that is a core of a super rigid material on the outside, non-abrasive, very, very cool stuff. There's a lot coming out of Ascentium on IDEX. There's a ton of new ideas getting tossed around. We're going to have some really cool videos on their new machines, which will be coming out very, very soon. Moving right along, we've got Stratasys, and they announced a partnership with Dimension to create what's called a reference architecture for production scale additive manufacturing. Basically what this means is it's an additive manufacturing based step-by-step -step process that uses both Stratasys printers and Dimension's post-processing systems to create end-use parts. Both companies are looking to leverage their large networks to make their end-to-end -end solution available worldwide. Carbon Inc. also announced a similar collaboration with post-process technologies to incorporate their resin removal technology with Carbon's platform. Now, we've also got Titan Robotics, our friends over at the Rocky Mountains, launching their Atlas HS system, a massive hybrid machine. Now, what is a hybrid machine, you might ask? Basically, it combines both additive and subtractive manufacturing into one system, giving you the best of both worlds. Their new pellet printing beast of machine is built on some of the world's most robust CNC technologies. Basically, if you want the customizability of additive with the accuracy of subtractive, then this is the system for you, if you don't already have some of DMG Mori's multi-million dollar metal printers. And finally, we've got Enscript, which is a really cool new player uh, who unveiled their N-Rugged printer. Now, everybody was talking about this one at the show. If you saw it, you'd know why. As the name suggests, the company calls it the first and only precision 3D manufacturing and bioprinting platform for harsh environments. The machine is designed to do bioprinting and standard 3D printing in environments where traditional printers might not operate, such as a naval ship or on a trailer. Now, the N-Rugged also includes a built-in battery allowing up to 48 hours of printing capability. Now, that makes this setup a lot easier than a Funmat HT strapped to the back of a Ford Raptor uh, with a gas generator. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check out the link below. Anyway, what was your favorite AMUG announcement? Did you attend AMUG? Did you see something cool at the show? Uh, cool story, I actually met a dude running the Icon House 3D printers out in Florida who said he attended because he saw our video. And frankly, I think that's awesome. JG, you gotta hit me up, by the way, ASAP. We wanna get you on this thing. Anyway, leave your comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. And until then, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.